All right, so hopefully you've had the chance to give this one a try. Um, we're asked to find how many five-digit PIN codes contain at least one zero. Okay, at least one zero. Well, um, again, I see this at least one, and you notice how I underline it. That's uh, <laughs> I tend to do that. I want you to notice that uh, because at least one is kind of a good clue. In fact, I have a little box down here. Um, when you, whenever you see how many are not or how many have at least one, you should think complementary counting. That's kind of a clue. At least one. Think complementary counting. That's kind of a that should be a trigger word for you. So, um, because it's a lot easier to count um, the number of ways to create a five-digit PIN code from no, with no zeros, all right? So, if we had no zeros, then we'd have nine other digits, basically one through nine, right? So, we'd have um, nine choices for the first digit, nine for the second, nine for the third, nine for the fourth, and nine for the fifth, right? This would be the number of ways that um, we could create a PIN code with no zeros. Okay, and then we just want to subtract that from the total number of ways that we could create the pin code with no restrictions. So if there's no restrictions, there would be 10 choices for the first number, 10 for the second, 10 for the third, 10 for the fourth, and 10 for the fifth. Okay, so this one, this case is no restrictions. Oops, restrict <laughs> restrictions. Okay, and then we can just subtract the two, and what I get when I do that, I get 40,000. 951 pin codes that we could create with at least one zero. All right, I will meet you for the next video.